guys so i just wanted to show you something if i can get up close um okay because right now he knows that i'm in severe pain in my legs and so he's really being patient you may have seen in other videos or maybe i haven't posted them yet but when my legs aren't hurting that bad he'll he'll sit there and and pull me or something but I literally don't even have to uh, to really, you know, do anything. And he knows that if I've stopped, that uh, my legs are, I've they've had enough for a minute. So he will stop and let me rest on his back. Camel, Camel, heal to me. Camel, heal to me. Oh, there I go. Hi, come here. Heal to me. Oh, thank you. Oh, goodness. As you can see, there's nothing that distracts him. He will uh, so kindly stay here and wait for my blood to circulate through my legs and Everything for me to feel a little bit better to keep walking. And, uh, so that's why I'm saying me and him don't have just a, it's not just a normal bond between us. You know, a, a, a owner and a pet, I guess you could say. <laughs> Look, he's got his little tail out. <laughs> he's like a little arrow. Huh? You got your little bald arrow going. Okay, camel. Hey, camel, heal to me. Heal to me, please. Okay. I'm letting him know that when I say heal to me. Normally, I'm on his left side, too, so that might be throwing him off. Okay, camel, heal to me, please. Okay. And, I, and I'm not putting my my whole weight on him you guys so I'm not I don't want to hurt my baby but it's just it's letting me allowing me to take um you know some of that pressure off my legs and um so he's just he's so in tune you guys like I've never trained him he's not gotten any training for my MS or my epilepsy or anything but when I am having a seizure and there's no one around, he will come up and, oh, please stay away from the road. Thank you. He will come up and lick my face and lick my fingers and my hands that way to um, where he will stimulate my, oh, you guys, okay, he's going potty. So, yeah. I just take a picture or a video of the woods right now, but, but yeah, uh, he's just so amazing. Good boy, Bubba. Good job. Okay, let's go back, all right? Okay. Thank you. I don't, I'll try to show you guys, but like, um, when my legs are bothering me. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get it. But they're... See, it's like, I don't know, my joints are really wobbly and my muscles, it's really hard to... They're jerking all over the place. and <laughs> But so, yeah. But he's so, uh, like I said, he's so attentive. He knows without being trained that his mommy, you know, may need a little bit of extra support. Um, oh, thank you, baby. Oh, you're such a good boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Please come to the side of the road. There's a car coming. Good job. All right. Come to the side of the road, please. Okay. Your wrist. Thank you.
Yeah, and he just, he stays. And he always puts himself in between me and whatever he thinks <laughs> the threat may be. Oh, but guys, yeah, I mean, he's just, he's just so special. He's my soulmate. <laughs> and yeah, nope, no, no. He sees me going out into the road, so he wants to go out there. Okay, I'm going to stay in the grass with you. Okay. So. Yeah, so. Like I was saying. It's just such an honor. Um, it's just a love that, you know. It's kind of like your kids. You never really, you know, have a, a love like that. Like what me and Camel has. Or like, oh. <laughs> I'm a wizard. No, I'm just a weirdo in a black hoodie. <laughs> oh my gosh, there was a, a, a rabbit that just ran by. Thank the Lord he didn't see him. Um, but yeah, anyway. So, I can't explain it. I'm sure a lot of you out there know what I'm what I'm talking about with your fur babies and yeah it's just it's miraculous anywho so this guy is not really anything special right now at the moment he say stop in the name of love cause we love you <laughs> Odd Billy Joe here, Camo, checking out this. Alright guys, love ya. We hope y'all are doing well. Um, this is Christmas Eve, so we hope and pray that you have a, a very blessed and Merry Christmas. And most of all, a Happy New Year, a wonderful start to 2022. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, you subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> when you subscribe, hit that notification bell, go to the top to all, so that way you can get notified when we upload a new video, which I try to do at least every day, whether it be a short or a regular video. Don't forget to hit that like button or dislike if you don't like me. <laughs> I love you anyway. Um, and then, uh, yeah, okay, so yeah. And then comment your little readers off, okay? Yeah, I want to hear where you're at on this Christmas, okay? And I want to see if we can get to freaking 100 uh, subscribers. Come on, guys. I know, like, a whole his lot of you watch my videos. Like, I've had over 6,000 views in the last less than a month. And I'm up to 19 subs. So, I know to a lot of you that ain't <laughs> nothing, but to me that's pretty special. And I want to thank you guys for those of you who have been here and stay with me. For those of you who are new, and I know you're going to sit there and push up to the subscribe button. Do it! <laughs> so, yes, my Christmas present is the fact that I am getting my apartment guys i already got it can't move in till um january 15th but i've got it and let me tell you like when you pray and you speak your wishes and needs and desires out into the universe you'll get it you'll get it may not be on your time but it's at the right time so you guys know how I like to blab <laughs> so I'm hurting really really bad I'm gonna um, hop back in the car now that he's heading his own <laughs> uh, bathroom break and shoes shoes and shiz but we love you guys
And, uh, yeah, Camo. Hey, look, Bubba. I love you. Can you kiss? Look, get kiss. Camo and I love you. All right, Merry Christmas. Peace. Good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope you had a, an amazing Christmas. And I'm putting this out into the atmosphere for everybody, for all of you, for myself, that 2022 is going to be an amazing year. We all deserve to have a break from what we've had these last couple years. Um, so yeah, I put that out into the universe for us. Uh, people are going to start being kinder to one another. I think the whole, like a lot of the hateful nastiness veil is going to slowly start to lift. People are going to start to feel better overall, I feel. Um, so, I've been, I always, like I'm a very spiritual person. Um, normally I see... 444 or 444 um, which is um, uh, I'll have to I just had it right on the tip of my tongue and I just I forgot so um, I also a number oh 444 is divine intervention and it's also like angelic number 555 is another one that I see that has to do with um, you know, your spiritual guy, your guardian angels, the fact that you're going on the right path, you're, you know, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, for the first time, um, I had, well, I pretty much couldn't sleep last night, but it just so happened I was sitting here and just being peaceful or whatnot, you know, my phone was up on the dashboard, and it, normally, you know, the screen doesn't come on unless you bump it or anything like that. Nothing was moving. All of a sudden, the screen comes on, and it's 3.33, and I had just turned, matter of fact, I had just turned the page of a book to number three, and then right after that, because I was like, oh, three, that's my lucky number. You know, I love that number. And then all of a sudden, that's when the light on my phone came on and it said 3.33. And so, um, I don't know if you guys believe in all that stuff. I, I do. I'm, like I said, I'm very spiritual. I believe in it. Um, I follow it, you know. Um, I, I believe it with, with all my heart. Um, so, basically, 3.33 is that it could it has a few different meanings but um the one that really resonates with me is that i'm supposed to be speaking um i'm supposed to be telling others about you know these messages and to watch out for these angelic signs because a lot of people are just having a really hard time and they're just you know they're they're praying and they're they're asking for please you know for help for this and that um but they really are kind of missing some signs um so i would like to see some comments do you guys um have you seen these numbers repetitively um generally for me it's on it it happens on a clock whether it be in my phone the car um and it's never like the, um, I forget what you call it, <laughs> like the, the dial clocks or whatever. Excuse me, it's always like digital. It always shows up as digital. But so for me, yeah, like I said, mine was always 444 or 555. And this one time, um, it's 333. And... I've just been feeling like so wholesome lately, like things, even though everything 
that could have went wrong has gone wrong in my life um, for a very long time. Um, it's weird because it's like, I don't know, it's not that now that I'm homeless I have more time to think about stuff or whatever, but I guess it, it kind of worked out that way because when I was in my house there was things happening, you know, where, you know, basically it was leading to where I was losing my house, um, and not by my choice, but things work out that way sometimes, but I have, um, had a lot more time to, con you know, sit and think now that, you know, the weight of that is not sitting on my shoulders, you know, um, and so, yeah, I just, I want to, um, I don't want you guys to think I'm some kind of weirdo or whatever, but seriously, guys, if you see repetitive numbers like that, um, just stop and, and kind of think about what you were just thinking about or what you're kind of what you're asking for, um, praying for, because, you know, it's, it's always worked out for me that, you know, things are, are working out in my favor, like, when I've seen those numbers, or even, you know, some people say, I saw a wives' tale when your left hand itches. For me, it's not, you know... Um, a lot of people say, oh, that's just superstition, it ain't, not, you know, whatever. And that's okay, you know, everybody has a right to think um, and feel how they choose. But um, just, just you know, humor me and, uh, you know, don't be sitting there watching the clock being like, oh, shoot, I got to wait for 3, so Billy said to wait for, you know, 3.33 or 4, four so I got to watch this clock I got like 10 minutes or no don't do that <laughs> you know that's not what I mean um but just if if you happen to like you know you're not thinking about anything or, or like thinking about that but just maybe going through something in your life and you're just like I said you're just praying for it and you're just like please you know I really need this and speak it out into the atmosphere speak it into the universe because and also try to put the, the, the good energy and the good vibes when you're speaking things out. Um, because literally the, the vibes and the vibrations of your energy, of your soul, um, and your, 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 your thoughts, or, you know, our energy. And um, when we're, you know, thinking so strongly and praying and wishing and dreaming and and when we speak it out, um, that either negative energy or that positive energy is going to go out there with that. And then nine times out of ten, when we receive that back, it's going to either be of a negative sort or of the positive vibes that we put out. So, um, yeah, and I, you know, I like to post a lot of, like, the sky um you know I get a lot of um signs through birds I'm not sure if like uh you guys some people has um you know signs like through butterflies or through dragonflies or um my my uh adopted daughter um her and her father's sign to each other is through bats and, um, and I've seen it for myself. It's, it's pretty amazing. Um, he passed on a few years back, unfortunately. Um, but so it's really cool to see, uh, when she came down here too, to visit me, um, a little while back, uh, just the, um, to see how cool it was with communicating with her and the bats and, and things like that. So that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and, uh, I'm not perfect to any of this, you guys. 
Um, but I am trying my arse off to try to try to find the good in every situation. I know it I know it seems impossible at times. But I've noticed over the years, um, because if I was like, yeah, right, whatever, I was always just such an angry, I was always such an angry, you know, child, angry teenager, angry, angry young adult, um, you know, and then it's like, I, I got to a point, it's like, I can't, I can't live like this anymore, something's got to give, I just, I can't. And one of the big things is, is nobody can control your day except for you. Seriously. Nobody has the power besides you to make your day good or make your day bad. So, um, I'm going to kind of leave that thought with you guys. Um, again, I hope you had a, an amazing, happy, merry Christmas. And me and Camo, I love you guys so much. Oh. <laughs> we do. We love you so, so much. Let's see if uh, Boot Stoot, what he's doing this morning. Boot it, boop, boops. Did it, boop, boop. Woo, woo. Oh, my baby. It's still snoozing, guys. Yeah. So, um, actually, real quick, I was going to wait to tell you guys. But I literally can't wait. I got to tell you guys. So, one of the things that I put out into the universe, I think I even spoke about it. Um, and I didn't want to wait until I got a definite yes so what I was putting out into the, into the universe, into the atmosphere of what I needed, what I was praying for, I, I, I just, I desperately wanted it so, so bad, was a place to live, was my own apartment to, you know, have me and Mr. Camel and just a nice, serene, like zen, um, peaceful environment to be able to spend most of my time and then of course Mr. Camo as well and you guys I got an apartment I got an apartment and um and I got some help you know with it and these people I would love to introduce you um, to them um, at some point soon. Um, and I just did uh, the most amazing people. But yeah, so I can't wait to show you the empty house tour. It's going to be uh, around the 15th of the month, I believe is when I get the keys. And so... It's probably going to be an empty house for, <laughs> for quite some time um, until I, so I can, you know, save up um, and be able to, like, get, you know, a little piece of furniture here or there, or, you know, whatnot. But I'm just, like, so, so grateful and so happy, and, and I want you guys to feel this way too. I really do. And I know that if you, if you think it, want it, dream it, believe it, and speak it out with good vibes, just try that for me, okay? And don't forget to watch out for your signs. And don't be looking for them. They're supposed to come to you as like a, as a sign. <laughs> but... Okay, it's a day after Christmas. Um, JR just went and got me some uh, the woo woo coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my coffee on. Crooked nose and all. Look at this shit, you guys. What the fuck? Shit. Whew. 
Oh, God, God, look at that. Look, it's just going that way. Oh, Lord. I have to pay, put like a, a little piece of tape or something and tape that baby down like Rachel. Oh, my dirty fingernails. Jesus. Okay, I'll let you go. Me and Camo love you guys so much. We really do. And bless you all. We will see you soon. Love ya. Bye.